Southern Indiana family is celebrating more than just Halloween tonight. Yeah, after a long wait, a nine year old boy finally getting a heart transplant. WDRB's Raina Kako shares what's next for the family. Oh my gosh, it's finally here. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Thomas Norris looks like any other nine year old boy with his love for Legos and soccer. But unlike most, he was born with an enlarged heart. He was eight days old when he was diagnosed, so um, he's pretty strong and resilient. Thomas's heart muscle became weak, dilated, and wasn't able to squeeze as well as it should, making it hard for him to pursue the hobbies he adores. It was probably towards the end of his um, spring soccer season last year. He had a lot of labored breathing which was our clue when he was a baby that something was going on. Last fall, his condition took a turn for the worse. So Thomas was put on the heart transplant list in early November. In July, his heart cath showed that he really needed to be in the hospital and um, have his status increase to 1A, which is top priority. But after 103 days at Norton Children's Hospital, Thomas is free of all wires and tubes. He was the hospital's 100th successful pediatric heart transplant. We were getting to a point where we we're like, okay, is this ever going to happen? The hospital broke out its best streamers and balloons to give Thomas a grand exit with doctors, patients, and nurses all gathering to say goodbye. And while Thomas was the guest of honor, the Louisville City FC team made a special appearance. While Thomas's medical condition is all the family has ever known. I'm hoping we can get back into sports, soccer. They're excited to get used to this new normal. Eventually, once he's allowed to travel, we'd like to go on a family vacation. I'm just being together again. Good amazing, buddy. You ready to go now? Raina Katko, WDRB News.